Hi guys, let's talk about money today, shall we? A lot of different ways to make money and money is very important but imagine you finish in university you got your degree and somehow you're lucky and get hired by one of those tech gains big companies in seattle area like google oculus facebook or old salesforce or amazon or microsoft or like any other ones as well you got your first week at job you're excited you've got your sign up bonus you got at least sixty thousand dollars and then what most people are talking about investments in the stock market because stock market it's a very traditional way to invest this money but if you invest in the stock market you have to understand stock market very very well because stock market it's a roller coaster trust me uh, i do investments in stock market as well besides real estate myself i'm a real estate broker and i'm a real estate investor but in stock market you guys know what's happening last week when zillow was announced they're going to be sell 8,000 home in texas Alabama, Florida, Arizona, and um, 8,000 homes are going to be put in the market and decide to quit this flipping business. And right after this announcement, Zillow stocks plumped almost 50%. It's crazy. That's why I tell you guys, stock market is a roller coaster. You guys know what's happening with NVIDIA on Friday. Last Friday, NVIDIA jumped 15% for like no reason and dropped down 15% again for no reason. Imagine you buying uh, stocks went on a high and just drop down, back down and just like you're gonna lose a lot of money in the stocks. I just heard uh, right after market was closed, this Saturday, like yesterday, Elon Musk announced they're going to be sell off 10% of the Tesla stocks. What's gonna happen tomorrow on Monday? I'm sure next week Tesla stock gonna be plumped down a lot. A lot of people bought stocks, Tesla about over $1,200 right now. But again, like if you invest in the stock market and you've got the $60,000, that's very risky investments. But again, for example, you're lucky you invest in a very stable stocks like Microsoft or ATA funds. And if you guys have like $60,000 and you invest, in good stocks and you can make 10% a year, year over year. So you're probably gonna make about $6,000 on your investments. That's very, very traditional way to make money. But another way to make money, invest in real estate. And I will explain you what the leverage means in real estate investment. If you have same amount of money, $60,000, and you decide to buy a house and uh, by the way, if you just got a job and finished university or college and you just first week on a job, you don't have to wait for one year to get employment history. You basically can buy a house as soon as you've got your first paycheck because uh, those two years of your college time will count as you're working and you basically can buy a house with a, as soon as you've got your first paycheck. So you decide to invest this money, $60,000 you have to buy a house. And as an example, I'll show you the property on the market today in Kirkland, Washington house, three bedroom, two bathroom, smaller home, like 1300 square feet for $550,000. So you can invest this money in a property. And if you invest $60,000 in the property, you can put 10% for down payment, about $55,000, and maybe use $5,000, additional $5,000 you have from the $60,000, you can use for your closing cost fees. Closing cost fee can be different. If you need to help with lender, call me. I will hook up with a great lender who can help you to get with lowest possible closing cost mortgage for the property. When you buy the property like this, house in Kirkland on the market as of today, and today I'm recording this video, house on the market, but probably not going to be on the market when this video is going to be posted because going to be a sell and probably for a little bit higher price than they listed right now. But imagine this property on the market right now for five fifty, dollars uh, and for $550,000 you can buy a house in Kirkland. Kirkland, Washington. It's a very hot location. It's a Google hometown. And if you buy this property and statistically in Kirkland, property increase year over year for past eight years for about 15%. So if you invest $60,000, your investments, your $60,000 chunk going to be increase 15% on $550,000 house. Sketch it for you. Your property going to be appreciated for 15% with 60,000. You get 
$82,500. But you can ask question, wait a minute, look, you got to pay mortgage for this money, right? So if you have, if I get a loan, like four ninety five, and for this four four ninety five thousand dollars loan, I have to pay mortgage payments. That's correct, right? So you have to pay like about approximately twenty four hundred dollars a month for twelve months, and that's going to be equal twenty eight thousand eight hundred dollars. But again, if you get like eighty two thousand five hundred dollars and subtract your mortgage payment for $28,800, $82,500 minus $28,800, that's going to be equal to $53,700. That's what you're going to make net gain if you invest $60,000. You can invest $60,000 in the stocks and make $6,000. You can invest the same amount of money, $60,000, buying property, which can gain about 15% a year. And, and you can make the like net uh, gain $53,700 in your investment. So you guys can see you almost double your money within one year if you invest in real estate. Even even if you not live there and even if you not rent the property. But imagine you decide to move in Florida or Texas or anywhere else, decide to rent this property. And you guys know like uh, average uh, three bedroom, two bedroom home in Kirkland right now for rent for about 2800 to $3,000 a month. And let's, let's say you can rent this house for $2,800 a month. With this scenario, if your mortgage is $2,400 a month, you will have $400 a month passive income, positive cash flow. And somebody else, tenants, going to be paying your mortgage. In this case, your $60,000 investments going to be increased, not $53,700 a year, going to be increased $82,500 a year. That calls leverage in real estate investment. You invest only a small chunk of money, let's say 10% for your down payment to buy this property. And with 10% down payment, by the way, you can get investments property as well. You don't have to put 20% down payment to buy an investments property. I know some lenders who will provide you loan with 10% of down payment. And if you guys need information, reach out to me. I will give you those contacts and those lenders. That simple scenario, what you can do with one home. But if you invest in real estate, you understand this is just one house and you can buy 10 different houses. You can repeat this scenario over and over and over again. If you buy your first house, keep this property for about two or three or five years, you can call me, I will do evaluation for you. And if you see like your assets, your net worth is gross with the property, you can pull a cost home equity line of credit. Pretty much doesn't cost anything for you. You can call to BCU or any credit union and they will give you 80% from your equity which you can get as a like credit card and you can use it anywhere you want. If you got this home equity line of credit, what you can do, you can buy your second home, same way you can put a down payment, uh, you can renovate it, you can rent it, this property out. And again, with the time, your property going to be appreciated and you're going to be continuing this game and create your financial wealth, your financial future. But very important in this game also of not just to invest anywhere, very important to invest in good location where property is appreciated because appreciation is a big bonus in this game. Property is not appreciated equally everywhere. People will ask me a good question, Oleg, why real estate property is appreciated year over year. So in general, uh, if you guys take any house in our locations in Washington state, the houses appreciate for last 70 years in average about 6% a year. But some years they appreciate more like 15, 20%. Like this year, for example, Bellevue appreciate for about 20%. Kirkland appreciate for about 20%. But if you take this Kirkland area, like for example, Kirkland seven years, the property appreciate between 15 to 20%. 
10% year over year and over year. And reason for that, I can tell you guys three main points why property appreciate. First one is inflation. Inflation, as you guys know, is good for economy. Government try to stimulate inflation to make sure prices grow, real estate prices grow, stocks grow, and economy is healthy. And uh, inflation usually about 2 to 3%. But this year, it's 5.66% for last couple months. When inflation is rising, stock market is dropping. And when the stock market is dropping, people try to relocate money and invest in some hedge against inflation when they can be like secure. Whatever happened with the market, they're going to get those investments for secure for some time and in the future if they need to sell those assets they can they able to sell it pretty easy and real estate it's a great assets great investments because it's sellable because it's high demand and because very difficult to build a house builders uh, wait for years uh, to get constructions permit uh, very difficult uh, to find a land to build house to develop this land just development for any land like raw land take about a couple of years just to do it this is very very difficult and very long process that's why real estate is in very high demand and very good hedge against inflation and another reason why property appreciate because we have simply supply and demand high demand for real estate and very low supply and third reason why prices are growing in our area because employment employment it's huge also, I want to show you guys this great article from GeekWire, Bellevue Boom, City Tech Industry is posed to eat Seattle's lunch. And they're talking about big uh, tech gains like from Silicon Valley, realized Bellevue a long time ago and then moving to this location. And big companies like Salesforce, um, uh, OfferUp, they open up offices long time ago in Bellevue. But Bellevue become a newer home for Amazon when the Amazon decided to move worldwide headquarters from Seattle just across from the lake to Bellevue and I show you guys the screen uh, you guys can see these pictures how many buildings Amazon building right now so they're building a few buildings uh, right now so they're leasing like millions of square feet commercial space in Bellevue and just this year commercial uh, real estate commercial leases increase for 50% year over year because of Amazon and a lot of tech industries coming to this town Besides Amazon, Facebook is a big player in Bellevue already as well because last year they purchased REI headquarters with 400,000 square feet commercial space in the Sprint District when it used to be old Coca-Cola uh, places and uh, they are moving there a lot of like employees as well. So Facebook going to have second largest headquarters after New York and Bellevue. And few miles away from this headquarter uh, is Microsoft Worldwide Headquarter. And few miles down road, Willows Road in Redmond, Facebook Oculus Department, when they have like 4,000 people working there. And they just purchased like 11 uh, buildings from GE a few years ago, and they grow in this Facebook Oculus Department, which is uh, ground for Metaverse. Metaverse is like new word for me, but it's like very popular word right now and you guys can see a lot of articles about metaverse nowadays in this location prices going to increase in real estate and we have a lot of opportunities to grow until those stage companies develop those buildings my projections prices in kirkland bellevue redmond and near them isik and samamish going to be grow for uh, next three years until 2025 because infrastructure has to be built for those stage it companies they uh, move into the area and this area looks really really small like we're talking about a few miles away between all those cities and they look very very close to each other very dense population in those city and simply we don't have much land available and this that's why like those properties in the market resell properties they sell rapidly very fast i'm sure this house as an example for you guys today will be sold tomorrow for, with multiple offer situations for much higher but opportunity is there for you guys and you guys can see real estate have huge leverage because you invest very small chunk of money for down payment but uh, your property value it's a big scale and that big scale increase 15 percent year over year you're gonna be build your wealth very 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 fast thank you so much guys for watching this episode with me about leverage on real estate investments and i know you have a lot of questions if you have those questions just simply 
call me. Phone calls is the best way to communicate with me. I can answer all your questions you have. We can make appointment. We can sit down with you in the office. I will explain your options, your situations, what best for your family. I hope I will give you good advice and will be great real estate resource for you. With that, guys, stay tuned and make a fantastic week.